Hi. So we are going to create a new component and add it to our custom-made library. First, run KiCad. Create a new project called Timer in a folder called Timer. You can name your folder and projects in any way you want and the two names don't have to be the same. Double click on timer.sch to open the eSchema window. Navigate to the library editor. A new part library editor window appears. It is in this window that components are created and edited. Click on create a new component. The component properties window appears. Name the component NE555, the default designation J, the number of units per package 1, then click on OK. The name and designation of the components appear in the middle of the part library editor page. The NE555 has 8 pins. We will add the pins to our component as they appear in the data sheet. To add the pins, Select the Add Pins to Component, left click on the screen and the Pin Properties window appears. Set the Pin Name to GND, Pin Number to 1, Orientation to Right, Electrical Type to Power Output and Graphic Style to Line, then click on OK, the Pin with its number and name appears. Place it under the, the Component's name and designation. Since the Add Pins to Component has already been selected, left click on the Part Library Editor and the Pin Properties window appears. For the second pin, set the Pin Name to Trig, Pin Number to 2, Orientation to Right, Electrical Type to Input and Graphic Style to Line, then click on OK. Place it just below pin 1. For the third pin, set the pin name to out, pin number to 3, orientation to right, electrical type to output and graphic style to line, then click on OK. For the fourth pin, set the pin name to reset, pin number to 4, orientation to right, electrical type to input and graphic style to line, then click on OK. For the fifth pin, set the pin name to cont, pin number to 5, electrical type to bidirectional and graphic style to line, then click on OK. Place it right across pin 4. You may have noticed that I left the orientation as right while it's supposed to be left. To correct this, hover the pointer over the pin and press E on your keyboard. The pin properties window for the fifth pin appears. You can then go ahead and change the orientation to left, then click on OK. The pin acquires a left orientation. For the sixth pin, set the pin name to threads. Pin number to 6, orientation to left, electrical type to input and graphic style to line, then click on OK. Place it right above pin 5 across pin 3. For the 7th pin, set the pin name to dish, pin number to 7, orientation to left, electrical type to output and graphic style to line, then click on OK. Place it right above pin 6 across pin 2. For the 8th pin, set the pin name to VCC, pin number to 8, orientation to left, electrical type to power output and graphic style to line, then click on OK. Place it right above pin 7 across pin 1. All the pins are now in place. We now need to draw a rectangle body next to the pins. 
Select Add Graphic Rectangle to Component Body and click on where you want it top left corner to be then click on where you want it bottom right corner to be and voila! You have your component. Select Save Current Component to New Library. Navigate to a folder where you'd like to place your library. I created a new folder called Library in my KiCAD directory for all my new components. You will notice that the file has a .lib extension. Under Preferences, Component Libraries, add the path of your library folder in the user-defined search path. Under Component Library Files, add your new library, the NE555.lib. Click on Select Working Library and select our new library. This indicates the library currently in use, which will now be our new library. Click on Update Current Component in Current Library. Click Yes in any confirmation messages that appear. Save the changes and again click Yes in any confirmation messages that appear. The new schematic component is now done and available in the library indicated in the window title bar. You can now go ahead and close that window. Your component is now available for use in a schematic. You can also edit an existing component in the library editor. In my case, I increased the width of the rectangle so that the pin names would stop overlapping.